Hi everyone, and welcome to my Jadis makeup tutorial. I included these two photos as this is the finished look and one of my main reference photos. But without any further ado, let's get started. That was easy. So I started off with a clean face and just a little bit of moisturizer. I then used a clean spoolie and a cream eyeshadow. I brushed through my brows pretty thoroughly back and forth to give them more of a blonde look. This technique worked really well for covering my dark brows. I took a q-tip and just cleaned up the outer edges of that liquid uh, eyeshadow and then took a little bit on my finger and covered my entire lid. Now this color is quite close to my natural coloring, so I did use it as an under eye concealer as well. All of the products I'm using will be linked in the description below as well as the shades, so be sure to check that out. I then took a flat brush and the shade Bamboo from a palette I have for MAC and used that in my crease to deepen her eye socket. This is very much a no makeup makeup sort of look and so we want to try to make it as natural as possible. I then took one of my favorite drugstore budget friendly full coverage foundations and a foundation brush and just applied that all over my face. This is one of my favorite foundations because it's budget friendly and it is full coverage so if you're really trying to blur out the color in your face so you can re-add it for characters especially, this is a great option. I then used my favorite concealer to do under my eyes with a beauty blender. All the brushes you'll see me using in today's tutorial are from NYX. I really love their brushes, they're high quality and you're not going to break the bank. So just bringing some of that foundation down my neck and around my lips. We're going to start an ombre lip for Jadis. And so you can, you don't have to worry about getting a little bit of concealer on your lips now. So now that we're done with our concealer, we're going to take that shadow again and just bring that all the way from the corner to corner under your eye. We're going to go back in with that liquid eye shadow and paint that through our lashes. The first time I did this uh, makeup test I actually used white and then I realized that was not the color I wanted because no one actually has white lashes. I was trying to go for blonde lashes so this kind of tan color worked perfectly for that and covers really well. I also doubled it as a great mascara. I took a colored hairspray by Krylon and again the color will be down in the description and I just sprayed that onto a little palette I have. I took a flat brush and then just brushed that through my brows. So this is going to act like a bit of a highlight to the color you put in earlier as well as it's going to cement your brows into place. So it just gives it a little bit more depth and has a little bit more natural look. Again just cleaning up those edges with a q-tip. Going back in with my concealer and a really small brush, I'm just going to reapply some of the concealer around my brows and really clean those up. I then took the same eyeshadow and just contoured my nose slightly. Uh, Jadis doesn't have a ton of contour going on, but I did want to just define my nose. I did take this on a fluffier brush and just contour my forehead and around my temples a little bit just to warm up the face. I then took a really pink matte shade from MAC and applied that all over my lips. I'm going to go in with a beauty blender and my concealer again and start that ombre lip. So what you want to do is blend from the outside in. Jadis almost has a chapped lip look so I went in with a red pencil and just kind of created some of those chapped lip marks. And here's the final look. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe. I've got lots more videos coming. Thanks again for all your support. See you next time.